Hi, Greg Adams from California Lightworks. We get a lot of questions about light spectrum and plants, especially with LEDs. And uh, some people ask, well, can you use any red or blue light to grow plants? And first you have to understand that plants absorb different spectrums in different levels. So it's not all light is created equal. So if we look at the uh, photosynthetic absorption chart, you can see how efficient each light spectrum is in driving photosynthesis. So number one, almost any light from about 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers, nanometers is how we measure the different spectrums in light. If you look from 400 to 700, there's a level of photosynthesis at any of those colors, but it's drastically different in the efficiency and how efficient the driving of the plant growth is from these light spectrums. So if you look at the uh, photosynthesis absorption chart, you'll see there's two very distinct peaks where we get the most growth at those light spectrums. One is at 440 nanometers, and nanometers is how we measure light spectrum. And there's another peak at 660. So these are far, by far the most efficient two blues and reds that drive photosynthesis. So you could have other shades of blue, you could have other shades of red, but these are the real peaks that is a deep blue and a deep red. And that's also why we designed to hit those peaks specifically with California Lightworks. So in our solar system, 550, we can vary the spectrum. So we have a heavy concentration, 660 nanometers, that's a deep red. This really drives yield for fruit and flower. We also have a specific blue channel. This is where we get the colors, smells, uh, chemical profiles. It also helps with leaf development. So the, the question is balancing between those two, that blue and red ratio. This is really the heart of what drives photosynthesis. Uh, sure, there's some controversy. Some people say, well, you could use all white LEDs. Well, this is certainly possible and we do have a separate white channel. Uh, number one, you do get photosynthesis in the, in the greens, yellow, orange range, but it's much less effective than in those peak red and blue. So really the most efficient is red and blue. We like to put white in so you have a nice visual uh, effect on the plants. You can tell if they're healthy, it's easy on your eyes. Uh, but if you really want growth, it's those specific red and blue peaks. 440 nanometers and 660 nanometers. You'll see that's how we design all of our lights with the maximum uh, photosynthesis at those peaks.